It is now time for Ask the Expert. Most dog and cat owners will face fleas at some point during their pet's lifetime. So joining us live this afternoon to talk about all of this, Jenny Nymphs Miller with the Wisconsin Humane Society. And before we do, she's got someone special with her. Who's yes. being shy right now. I know, you are. You gotta look the other way, sweetie. He's he likes so the, the wall. He's looking at all the other dogs <laughs> oh, over here. Oh, <laughs> he's he sees he's like, plants. That, is, there that is interesting. Yes. Uh, this is Freddy, and hey, Freddy, Freddy is three months old. He is available for adoption right now at the Milwaukee campus of the Wisconsin Humane Society. Um, he's been neutered, vaccinated, and microtripped, and he also has a brother who's available for adoption. Oh, wow. Oh, and he's a sweetie. So he let's, sure is. let's talk about it. Ooh the risk of catching fleas. Yeah, you know, it's something like you said um, that all dog and cat owners should think about because regardless if you have your animals indoors or outdoors, dogs and cats are susceptible to catching fleas. So um, the first thing to do is to be aware of what you're looking for. They tend okay. to be little black or brown spots. They tend to congregate on the head, abdomen, or tail, mm -hmm. um, sometimes accompanied by itching or hair loss. Um, and if you see something like that in your dog or your cat, it's really important to reach out to your vet, make sure that's what you're dealing with, and then they can help prescribe a a course of treatment for you. And how important is it to get that treatment going as soon as Very possible? Very important. Um, a flea can live up to 12 months Ooh. and in that 12 months oh. can have a million babies. So you want to get that really? taken care Which of right away. A million babies can spread beyond your animal. Correct. They can spread through your house. They can actually spread to uh, another human or an animal. Mm -hmm. So it's important to get that taken care of um, and stop it <laughs> before it gets to a million babies. Yes. <laughs> Again, can you go over those quick signs that we owners need to look out sure. for? Sure, sure. Small brown spots, usually congregated at the head, abdomen, or tail, um, sometimes accompanied by itching and scratching, and then also sometimes hair loss, especially around the head and tail. Is there a way to prevent them? Yeah, there is a preventative, uh, several preventative products that are out there. They usually are products that are done, uh, put topically on your on your animal and you give them every 30 days and that helps to prevent your your dog or cat from contracting it. That's the easiest way to, to handle it is to prevent it before it comes. Yeah. And does it matter at what time in the dog's life as far as when they're a puppy? Um, you can start that course at any time. Okay. Um, it's, it's better to start early and keep it going throughout their life, but at any point that can be started. Okay. All right, good to know. Freddie here. Freddie's ready for a home, forever <laughs> yeah. home.